today, the 27th of April 2020, is a day when schools are supposed to resume for their third term academic calendar. Unfortunately, the COVID-19 pandemic has affected the course of human activities globally, and Edo State is not an exception. In order for us to check the spread of the coronavirus, our schools were closed down late last term and are likely to remain closed for this term. However, to keep our children engaged, we launched the Edo Best Homeschool e-learning program with mobile tutors while the children were on holidays. The aim of the program was to provide daily lessons on the Suburb website for parents across the state so that they can keep the children occupied during the holidays. To date, over 40,000 parents visited the site during the holidays to download lessons, including parents in other states of the country. We also noticed that parents of children in private schools also downloaded these lessons. I'm here today to inform you, all of you parents and guardians of school children in Edo State, that I remain committed to the provision of quality education for all. As a new academic calendar begins today, during this period of lockdown, it is my pleasure to announce that we have provided an alternative source of schooling for our children during this lockdown period. It is called Edo Best at Home. Thankfully, we had introduced the use of technology in our primary schools with the launch of Edo Best, which means Edo State Basic Education Sector Transformation two years ago. Since the launch of this reform, we have acquainted over 280,000 children with technology-based learning and we have trained over 11,000 teachers and education managers on modern digital learning and teaching methods. We made investments in the education sector in the past two years, and these investments have helped us to better weather this unexpected global storm. In the past three years, while we constructed and reconstructed over 200 schools, we also invested in the learning, in the learning methods of our children and made it technology driven by training our teachers and providing over 10 million learning materials, including textbooks and other educational materials for teachers and students. These investments in the basic education sector have prepared us for this period. And with Edo Best at home, we now want our pupils to build on the significant learning gains recorded in the last two years. Thus, Edo Best at home is an adapted online version of Edo Best, which is designed to cater to the educational needs 
of children from early childhood care, development and education, that is ECCDE, to junior secondary schools, JSS, in public schools. Private schools are also welcome to access the materials in Edo Best at Home that will be uploaded to the Edo Suburb website regularly. Edo Best at Home is comprised of interactive audio lessons with customized messaging, digital self-study activity packs, mobile phone based interactive quizzes, digital storybooks, and virtually moderated teacher and student classroom interactions. The design principles follow the same as the Edubest approach, which is delivered to our pupils using various platforms, including computers, smartphones, and future phones. This program will no doubt alleviate some of the anxieties of our parents who will be concerned that their children are not attending schools. And it will provide a robust learning system that will positively engage the children during this period of partial lockdown. Our Edo Best at Home model is designed to offer up to four hours of learning daily. And this content will be available, which means that children can access the day's lessons at any time throughout the day. We are partnering with MTN to provide zero data access and a two-way SMS at no cost to parents. Also, for those parents with basic feature or analog phones, daily content will be delivered through USSD and audio files. This means that parents, regardless of their financial situation, and regardless of their access to the internet, can log on to the website for free and access our learning materials via various offline channels. It is my desire that no child in a do state will be left behind during this period. That is why I have instructed the chairman of SUBEB, Dr. John of Yahweh, that beginning today, all parents and guardians in our database, including those in rural, remote, and riverine communities, must be contacted to ascertain that those who are able to, to ascertain those who are able to access online schooling. If we know those who can't, we will be able to guide them through the functionalities of our offline alternatives. Let me use this opportunity to remind those words of school-aged children who serve as house helps that under the child rights law, provisions have been made for the arrest and prosecution of anyone depriving a child of education in Edo State. Therefore, we expect that every child in our state must have access to a minimum of four hours learning every day during this period of partial lockdown. Teachers are going to be enabled so that they can virtually track attendance of pupils and identify those who are accessing online schooling and those who are not. 
Our special children are very close to our hearts. And we have not forgotten these pupils and students who have special needs. You can see some of them with us in this room today. We are going to distribute care packs of non-perishable food items and appropriate educational materials to parents and guardians of special needs pupils and students across the state. We already, we already have plans to stay in touch with their parents and guardians throughout the period of partial lockdown. The, the care packs are going to be distributed to parents and guardians in Benin City, Uromi, Afuze, Auchi, where we currently have schools that cater exclusively to children with special needs. We are aware that there are children with special needs that attend regular schools under our inclusive education framework. We have not left them out. We are currently in the process of identifying these pupils and students so that necessary support can be provided to them as well. Let me at this juncture acknowledge with immense gratitude the support of our partners, the MTN and Bridge International Academies for their respective roles in the implementation of Adobest at home. Without their support, it would have been very difficult, if not impossible, to make Adobest at home possible. As you may be aware, the Ministry of Education and the Post-Primary Education Board have been offering TV lessons to secondary school students. So far, we have received overwhelming positive feedback on this. And so we will continue the initiative with the aim of imp making improvements that will better prepare our secondary school students for their major examinations. Finally, I want to end by ensuring you, our dear parents, and the good people of Edo State, that I am committed to doing everything to, that will cushion the social and economic hardships caused by the COVID-19 global pandemic. The COVID-19 response team, which is headed by me, meets every day and have done so for the past four weeks. And I am glad to announce to you that thanks to our data-driven approach, continued health sector and continued health sector investments, and the kind support of our donors and partners, we are confident that we will emerge victorious in the fight against the spread of the virus in Edo State. Let me plead with everyone to please stay at home as much as possible during this period and only come out when it is absolutely necessary to do so. We are setting up screening centers across the state. I am encouraging everyone to go and get screened so that if you are unfortunate to have contacted the virus, we will treat you for free. There are several centers across the state, both in government facilities and private health facilities. Please look out for the one that is closest to you. In addition to getting screened, ensure that as a habit, you wash your hands with soap and water very frequently. And ensure that you observe the social distancing regulations. 
Always wear your face mask whenever you go out. If you take these simple precautions, you will help us limit the spread of the coronavirus. Long live Edo State.